And one thing that I noticed is, you know, I be struggling. And I be looking at other YouTubers that got businesses. And I be trying to see where they were struggling. And there are no videos from when they were struggling. Now, I want to document everything. I want to document the ups and the downs. you guys it's your girl there could be back at you in another youtube video if you're new to my channel click the subscribe button down below and click the bell so that's why every single time i upload a new video and yada 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 from me on instagram it's the video that be damn that's a blind blah 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 okay boom let's get into the video <laughs> all right so as y'all can see by the title i'm gonna be talking to y'all today about um about why i started my business and why i started youtube Okay, y'all, so, I first, I probably already talked a little bit about this, so just listen. But I first got the idea to start start a business back in December. It was me uh, and this girl. I'm not going to get into that. If y'all want to know that whole story, I'm going to link the video up here so y'all can get the whole story. But basically, like, it was some stuff going on, and I just needed, like, a distraction. And I just was like, hey, I want to start a business. I don't know where lashes came from, but, yeah, I didn't even wear lashes. I only wore lashes, like, one time, and that was, like, the month before. I didn't know the first thing about lashes, period. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Well, I could put all my time and energy into this business and it'll keep my mind occupied. So that's what I did. I went doing research, watching videos after video after video, doing all kinds of research, trying to find out about this whole last thing. And so that's why I started it. Now, the whole meaning behind my brand is to promote self-confidence and self-love. And the idea that you're unbreakable. Now, the reason why I chose that is because of the fact that I, myself, I struggled with confidence when I was growing up. I also said this in a previous video, and I'll link it up above, too, so y'all can watch that. But I struggled with confidence growing up, and sometimes I still struggle with confidence in some things, in some areas. So, you know, I want to sit here and... I want to help other females, you know, with their struggle with confidence. Let them know that they are beautiful and they are worthy and they are enough. And I don't know how Lashes really portrays that. It kind of doesn't. But if you go to my Instagram, you'll see that majority of my pictures have a quote with them. And all the quotes are dealing with self-confidence and self-love. And I was also posting like daily reminders. And that was all dealing with going and achieving your goals, loving yourself, and all kinds of stuff. Like that's the whole goal of my brand, to make women feel good about themselves. And, you know, that's the whole purpose. And then when I changed the name of my business to uh, Diamond Sublime, as you already know, that the meaning of my name is... Uh, it means that you are a precious, unbreakable stone. That's what a diamond is. A diamond is a precious stone. A special... Anywho, and then sublime means of such excellence, grandeur, and beauty that you as to, as to inspire great admiration or awe. And so I felt like that was such a beautiful that was such a beautiful definition and putting those two together, like that's powerful, y'all. That's like really powerful. And why I want to stick with diamond is because, you know, my father taught me to apply pressure. And in my mind, when you apply pressure, you form a diamond. Diamonds are formed under under pressure. Diamonds are not breakable diamonds are very strong and you can't just throw it down and break it you know so i feel like that really embodies the meaning of my brand well that's where the name came from and that's how the business came to be and i also have this list of diamond rules and each letter in diamond stands for something the first d means dare to be different i is inspire others 
A is apply pressure. M is maintain happiness. O is omit negativity. N is never settle. And D is dominate the world. If you consider yourself a diamond, you have to follow those seven, seven rules. Yeah, if you're gonna consider yourself a diamond, you have to follow those seven rules. Like, and I plan on incorporating that into my Instagram, into my website, or something, some type of way, so everybody will know the rules of being a diamond. And no, I did not find that anywhere. I actually sat down and I came up with those rules myself, off the top of my head, put some thought into it. And yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for the whole business part. So let's go on to why I started YouTube. For those of you who've been here from the beginning, y'all know I started my channel back in March of this year. I believe my first video was posted on March 18th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, and my first video was about how to find, how to start a business with no money. How to start a lash line with no money or something like that. And I started my channel to document my business journey like I want to be able to look back at this years later and see what I started from like that was the original reason just to document my journey and then you know I started seeing that I was growing and stuff and I'm like okay well let's start taking this a little serious you know let's start posting more consistently and you know just upload more consistently and more often and then, you know, I tried to branch off from it and do like girl talks and story times. And but that wasn't really my thing. You guys wasn't really gravitating towards that. Y'all more so like the business videos and I do too. Because those other videos, it requires planning and stuff. But these business videos, they come natural and that sticks to what the theme of my channel is supposed to be. I also try to do tutorials sometimes, but I'm not really here to give tutorials. I want to share with y'all the things that I go through in my business. And one thing that I notice is, you know, I be struggling. Like, I be really struggling sometimes. And I be looking at other YouTubers that got businesses, and I be trying to see where they were struggling. And there are no videos from when they were struggling. Now, they may talk about the struggles that they used to have now that they're successful. But we didn't get the, they don't post when they're actually struggling. So that's another thing I decided to do, you know. I want to document everything. I want to document the ups and the downs. Like I have a few videos on my channel from when things just was going wrong. I have one called Things Went Wrong. <laughs> and, you know, I be making a lot of mistakes and stuff. And I want y'all to know that running a business is not easy. And so... I know I'm not the only one that be wanting to see when other people are struggling. That it get, you know, it gives you some type of reassurance that a business is not built overnight. You don't know, become successful overnight. Like you already know that, but to see it in somebody, you know, it makes you feel. At least it makes me feel a little bit better. Like okay, I'm gonna get through this. Like they're going through the exact same thing that I'm going through, and I see them doing it. You know. It's just nice to be able to go back and look at that type of stuff. So I do that for y'all so y'all can see the struggles and stuff. I also do it for myself because it's going to feel so good down the line when I'm actually successful and doing well. And I can look back and see back when I was struggling. You know, my channel is here as a reflection for myself. But it's also here as an aid to y'all. Like... I just want to help y'all with y'all businesses as best as I can. And I'm not going to sit here and try to give y'all information on stuff that I don't know anything about. Like, I see people making videos on stuff that, that they've never even gone through, that they've never even done before. Like, how are you going to tell me how to do this when you've never done it before? You don't have any experience with it. So everything I'm sharing with y'all is like real deal stuff. Like this is what's going on right now in the moment. Like this is like real. I feel like I have a very real straightforward 
channel and i'm just like keeping it straight up keeping it 100 with y'all i keep it real and real fuck all the critics and fuck how they feel but yeah yeah i feel like this video is like really short but that's really all i gotta say oh comment down below the reasons why you started your business and if you have a youtube channel comment down below why you started your youtube channel and yeah if you like this give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you in the next one